And one of the great stories of this is uh, Al Fudayl ibn Iyad. If anyone knows his story, it's one of the most beloved stories. Another genre that we have in our tradition is the genre of biographies. And you'll see these books that are telling the biographies of the earlier generations. And these started very early. And uh, Qushayri, he wrote in his Risala about uh, Al Fudayl ibn Iyad. Others wrote about him. He was known as he lived in the second century of the Islamic period, so he was very early, and he was known as one of the great awliya, the great friends. And so in these biographies of the awliya, he was prominent. And I love him because he came from what we might call a checkered past. <laughs> he wasn't always on the path. In fact, Fudayl was what we used to call a stick-up kid. He was a brigand. He was a thief. He was basically the head of a gang. He was a mafioso type. And he would rob the passersby. And he was feared because of his, uh, because of the fact that he would rob people. And so Fudayl was this notorious uh, gangster, essentially. And <laughs> the story of his toba is really interesting. That one day, he was chasing some woman that he was, he was interested in. And so he was like, he jumped this wall to try to you know, go after her. And as he was jumping the wall, he heard someone in the courtyard reciting Quran. And the verse they were reciting was from Surah Al-Hadid. أَلَمْ يَأْنِ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَن تَكْشَعَ قُلُوبُهُمْ لِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ Which means, is it not time for the hearts of the believers to quake with reverence at the remembrance of God? As he was jumping, the, he heard that. And he said, yes, it is. And he returned. And he had this awakening. It hit him. And he like, I have... Because he was a believer. He was born and raised a Muslim. Right? We know not everyone has, right? There's a lot of young people in these streets who are, right? In South Seattle, modern-day Fudul Ibn Iyad, Right? He was caught up, as we used to say, in the street. And all of a sudden, he had this like awakening. And he, it was like Allah spoke directly to him. And this is also a gift because we might hear verses or hear hadith, and we heard them 10 times, 20 times, 100 times. But one time, Allah removes a veil and it pierces our heart. So this happened. So he was in this state and he starts wandering and he goes into the, the, the ruins, the kharabat, right? There used to be these like ruins on the outskirts of town. And he was just going there to be alone, but there happened to be a group of people there, and it was nightfall. And so he overheard these people in the ruins talking, and they were travelers. And they were debating amongst themselves, should they leave and travel at night? Or should they wait and just stay here in the ruins and travel in the next morning? And they were going back and forth debating. And one of them said, they said, we can't go tonight because Fudul ibn Iyad is out there. <laughs> like, <laughs> him and his gangsters, like, were afraid. And he started to weep. He said, I'm Fudul. And I repent of everything that I've done and that I've made the believers suffer and you're safe and he made hijra he left everything and he was from persia he left he walked to mecca and he lived the rest of his life in mecca and he was known he became known legendary for always being weeping at the Kaaba. anyone who visited the kaaba you would always see him just weeping filled with remorse for what he'd done and filled with gratitude for that Allah had 
turned his heart, but still full of this humility. And one of his sayings, he used to say that people would praise him. He said, I would rather you call me a munafiq than say I'm not a munafiq. I would rather you say I am a hypocrite than to say I'm not a hypocrite. Because he had this sense of like, and this is how the people of Allah, it's how the Sahaba were. They always were like, they were never like, I'm a true believer right now. They were like, I'm not sincere. Because they compared themselves to Rasulullah. Who are we compared to him? And who are we compared to them? And so Fudayn ibn Iyad and radiallahu anhu, one of the luminous saints of God. Why? Because, and this is amazing, he lived all of his life committing every sin and crime and harming people. But yet, when he made Toba, he surpassed all these people that have been praying and fasting for decades. Allah took him. Why? Sidqaniya. The sincerity of his intention. Truthfully, he turned to Allah. And this is why we should never look down on anyone. Because we do not know who's who. And even if we witness people in the worst of states committing the worst of acts, we know that, what do they say? That every saint has a past, every sinner has a future. Right? We don't know who's who. We don't know that our state will not be to fall into something and their state will be to be guided. May Allah forgive us. And so this is Sidqaniyah. 